So there is a guy who goes by the name of Greg Foote. He produced a segment for a show called Brit Lab on the BBC where apparently he had this gnawing question in his mind and he really wanted to know what human flesh tastes like. So being the good scientist that he is, he figured what's the best possible thing that I could do? Oh, why don't I just cut a chunk out of my leg and consume it on a YouTube video? More or less, that's what happened. Now, obviously for me, I have never thought what does human flesh taste like? I don't me? know. What, what do you think, Tamara? I've not, never thought about that it's either. It's never even crossed the mind. No. Right? I mean, I think there's something that we're, we're programmed to like not think, not about think that. that. But this guy's a scientist. Maybe he's wired a little differently. I don't know. So one of the other things that's interesting and, you know, is another debate here is apparently, according to the law in the United Kingdom, it is illegal to consume your own flesh. Your personal flesh? Yeah, my personal flesh. Maybe I want to eat a bite. So of my that arm. means some weird stuff was happening where they Back were like, the I'm going to eat myself because I feel like protesting something or something. <laughs> Bites I arm. I mean, so there's the Hannibal, right? Have uh, you seen Hannibal? Yeah. So uh, in that movie, there's the guy with like his head chopped mm -hmm. open and they feed him part of himself, and that's pretty. Uh, disturbing. So did he eat it raw or did he eat it? Did he cook this it? This guy? Oh, yeah. So we'll get to that. So okay. he doesn't actually end up being able to eat it because it's illegal and this is a YouTube video. Apparently this guy cares about the law. Um, but we'll talk about what he did. It's pretty weird. Um, and then you also have the story of the uh, German cannibal, which was very popular uh, a few years ago. So this guy advertised, this German man advertised on Craigslist for someone who wants to uh, sign over. This guy want, got all the paperwork. He uh, had someone who would agree to let him prepare his victim as a meal. So he cut off part of his body. They ate him together and then the German guy killed him. And this was all like part of a contract and an agreement that they wanted. Like the guy who responded to the Craigslist ad allegedly was on board with this, no. ready to go. Like, this is what I want to do with my life. I want to taste my leg meat and then I want you to kill taste me. Taste my leg meat. You know, okay. So obviously there's a lot of weird things going on there. But the German cannibal did end up going to jail because apparently even though they had a contract, it's still illegal. Yeah. So we've got this going on here, but this guy is German cannibaling himself. Right? So here's what happened. He wanted to taste the meat, but he could not do it. So what he did was he went to a lab and he got some folks to perform a sizable biopsy of his leg muscle. Now, what's even weirder about this is because for whatever reason he couldn't eat it, they wanted to settle for the aroma of his cooked flesh. Okay, so our sense of taste actually corresponds to 70%, Your uh, sorry, 80% your smell mm -hmm. and only 20% your taste buds. So we really do rely on smell in order to taste things. So what they did was they fried up his flesh. The people that biopsied it? He did, Greg Foote. He took it himself. I mean, yeah, so I don't know who exactly like, I mean, they were together when yeah. they did. Um, so he fries it up and basically, I don't know. It's disturbing. He, he really liked doing the experiment, though. Did he say it tastes good? So the analysis good? of the leg muscle basically says that uh, the leg muscle is very similar in composition to both chicken and beef. So we're not that far away. But uh, this guy, allegedly in the name of science, had this discovery. How what do you big think? do you think the biopsy was? Um, so there is a video. The, the chunk is sizable. I mean, I, I think it's like... If we had to do it like that. Okay. Um, so it wasn't like a little piece of skin that he just like scooped Cause off. Because when I was like, I was thinking like a like filet mignon, like disc, <laughs> like that's a big chunk to be missing. Like I feel like things go wrong. No. So here you can see. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. So it, he, they did like a puncture biopsy. So they have this tube. It's like this big, and they go in there that's, and they pull out like a little. It's not that tube. much at all. No, though. but it's lo it's long. It's yeah, not, but still, oh, it's, he's gonna have like a tiniest. Woo! Yeah, that's like nothing. So then they heated it up, smelled it, did the lab composition, and they all sniffed the biopsy. Human blood smells so weird, though. <laughs> like, if you ever have, like, gotten, like, a paper cut or something, and you, you, like, just, like, put it up to your face and you smell, like, I'm 
you've had to have smelled like your blood I don't recall before. it smelling weird. It just smells like super irony. And when you open a irony. thing of, yeah, when you open a thing of meat, I don't smell like iron, you know? It smells very different. So I, I don't, I'm questioning all of Tamara's questioning all this. I don't want to take a bite out of my leg though. 